all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to focus on whatever message your higher self deems is most important for you right now. We're going to use one oracle deck for one specific message from your higher self. Now, please remember, this is still a general reading. Lots of people and lots of messages. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings. They're by gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's general higher self one message reading. We are going to have reading number one with the Witch's Wisdom deck. Reading number two with the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle. Reading number three with the Higher Self Oracle. And reading number four with the Spellcasting Oracle. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not gonna lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now, so I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the Witch's Wisdom Oracle. All right, let's see what message your higher self has for you. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please bring forward whatever message the higher selves of group number one have for their best benefit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's take a look. We start with staff stability. So stability is a focus. Hex banishments and high priest or priestess responsibility. All right, and one more. Lord God masculine. Okay. All right, so here's the thing here there is stability that needs to be present in your life. There is something in your life that needs to be banished, and it is your responsibility. And I'm not talking about an entity or something like that. I'm, I'm talking about something in your life that you know is not good for you, something that you have to get rid of, something you have to step away from. It is your responsibility. You are in charge of your realm. The masculine is about energy. It is you taking action, you being in charge of your realm. Only you can bring stability to your life. Only you can bring in stability for you. You have to get rid of what doesn't serve you. Let go, banish it, you know, get rid of it. If it's not helpful to you on your path right now, let it go, get rid of it. It is your responsibility to take care of you. You are the power person like you are the the you know person in charge of your life and this masculine energy coming in here is saying take action it is time to take action it's time to get rid of whatever it is that is breaking up the stability in your realm it's probably different for each of you but there's something in your life that's messing with the stability of your life only you can set things right, and it's going to take action on your part. All right, that's all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. 
hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the gateway of light activation oracle all right let's see what message your higher self has for you angels spirit guides ancestors please bring forward whatever message the higher selves of group number two deems most important for them at this moment thank you thank you thank you Venusian Galactic Council, star being guides, answer the call, time to shine. You guys are being called to a purpose. Sacred inner space, sacral chakra, tenderness, sensuality. Getting in touch with your sacral chakra energy, your tenderness, your sensuality is going to be part of stepping into the energy you're being called to. The divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, God incidences. Okay, so you guys are stepping into a heightened energy. And the easiest way for you to connect to that energy is going to be through sensuality and tenderness and interconnectedness. You connecting to that sacral chakra. You can do all kinds of things to connect to the sacral chakra, to strengthen it. There's all kinds of information online about it. Um, but take some time. Really focus on your sacral chakra, on connecting to your sensuality, to your energy. It is your time to shine. It's your time to step forward. Connecting to that particular chakra is going to open the door for you. You're going to find interconnectedness through that. You're going to find other people on the same soul path as you. The wonderful way we're all connected to each other. You're going to experience that energy. You have star being guides coming forward to really work with you. So make sure you accept their energy make sure that you strengthen your sacral chakra as you step forward because you're connecting to a higher frequency of energy a higher level of energy and it's important to be strong as you step forward all right that's all i have for reading number two thank you so much for spending your time with me if you enjoyed your reading please make sure you click that subscribe button until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the Higher Self Oracle. All right, let's see what message your higher selves have for you. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number three... Please bring forward whatever message their higher selves deem most important for them to hear right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go through, yeah, once or twice more. Okay, that's good. Transformation. You are going through a transformation. Transformation is not always easy, but it's worth it. So you have to kind of go over the, the bumps in the transformation to get to where you're headed. Take the first step. Okay, so this is transformative energy for you, but you have to take the first step. You have to choose to let this transformation happen. Clear your energy. That's your first step. Your first step is clearing your energy. You can, like, notice she's dancing in the card. That's a wonderful way to clear your energy. Grounding to clear your energy. Um, you know, incense can clear your energy. There's all kinds of ways. Water is another wonderful way to clear your energy. Looks like her dress, dress is made of water. Clear your energy. That is your first step. And it's going to lead you to success. Okay. So that's very straightforward, guys. Transformation is happening. You have to take the first step. The first step is clearing your energy and maybe do it a couple different ways, however resonates with you. There's all kinds of ways to clear your energy. If you clear your energy, that's going to bring in success to this transformation and it'll be worth it. 
All right, that's all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the Spellcasting Oracle. All right, let's see what your higher self has to say. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward whatever message the higher selves of group number four deems most important for them to hear right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. Willpower. You have the willpower to do whatever it is you desire. Your willpower is going to be there for you. Your courage also is going to play a factor. You are manifesting something. And friendship is going to help. Okay. So you have the willpower and the courage to bring your energy forward to manifest whatever it is you desire. Okay, this is all you. This card says, hey, if you feel you need a little support, you've got friends. Like, look at this circle of friends. You have friends that are going to come forward and support you. You may not even know them yet. This is your soul family coming through. Your soul family is going to be there for you as you step forward into your purpose, into your meaning. Willpower and courage brings about your manifestation. You have to have the willpower to, to really put the energy in, to put the work in to whatever it is you're trying to change in your life. You have to have the courage to believe that you can. You have to have the courage to step forward into your energy. You have to have the courage to step forward into your power. And as you do it, you're going to manifest the life you desire. If you feel like you need support in any of this, your friends are going to be there right when you need them. So move forward with your manifestations. Move forward with chasing those dreams. Move forward with what you're meant to do. Bring your courage and willpower with you and count on your friends because they're going to show up right when you need them. All right, that's all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.